Hey, what's going on guys? Log.Venom here. I'm just kidding, Tyler. We're friends. We're friends. All right, hey guys, Antvenom here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some items that I feel like in Minecraft have just been completely forgotten about over the years. As the title suggests, there are nine items, but I'm going to split these up into two categories where five of the items have been like really, really forgotten about, and the other four items have just been mostly forgotten about, but still have like some use, but maybe for their intended use, they don't really, like they're not good anymore. So let's just go ahead and let's just launch right into it. So the first item on the list is your face. Um, I'm just, I'm just kidding. That was mean. No, actually, the first item on the list are note blocks, and note blocks pretty much inspired this entire list for me. Now, when they were originally introduced, there was a lot of hype around the idea of creating note block songs, and just sort of generally what could be done with them. However, since they first came out, nothing has been done to improve them. So, for those of you that don't know what note blocks are all about, basically they are made when you surround eight pieces of wood with a redstone dust piece in a crafting square, and you get yourselves a note block. And the way that they work is that you right click on them when they're on the ground and you can set a certain musical note now I'm not sure exactly how many notes you can set I think it might be 16 but anyways if I go ahead and I right click here uh, you can actually hear the noise as I'm setting it and this one has sort of a click sound and depending on what block you set it on it will produce a different noise so if you place it uh, I believe it is over glass you can't see that there over stone over wood or over sand it'll produce a unique noise and over grass or any other block it will produce just sort of a like a piano noise so yeah if I go ahead and I hit this button here and I turn my sounds to be all the way up then you'll actually hear all what all of the sounds sound like so, yeah, and I feel like this belongs on this list because they really were forgotten about. I think that there's so much more that could have been done with these to the point where I've seen one command block creations that make it so that you can, you know, like access octave ranges that are way out of the normal scale using play sound commands and whatnot. And I feel like that these really deserve a nice revamp in a later version of Minecraft. I think that'd be cool. I'm sorry guys, I had to do this. Shout out to the old school Minecrafters who know what this is. Yeah. Alright, so for number two on the list, you guys might call me a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna name regular pistons as one of the more useless or at least forgotten about items in Minecraft. Because, I mean, when you combine a sticky piston with stuff like a redstone block, that can make for some really useful contraptions. And whether it be like a farm that you're creating, or just generally whatever redstone device that you're making. But what practical application can you guys think of where a regular piston is required? over a sticky piston let me know but anyways uh yeah I mean you know here's a regular piston right here I guess if you want to exchange sand around and you want sand to fall then it can be really useful um, but yeah here's a sticky piston holding on to it but I mean when you just have a regular piston it just pushes the block away and it's just like oh no I mean I guess it can be kind of useful if you have a stack of sand and you're looking to press it but I mean in reality who's doing that I mean other than just messing around yeah I mean anyways but then, a sticky piston, it holds onto the block, and it can hold onto a redstone block and whatnot too. So, yeah. Alright, so number three on the list is one I feel like is a bit more justified to be on this list, and that is leather armor in its entirety. Now, in more old school versions of Minecraft, when iron was actually a lot harder to get, Things like sheeps and cows and pigs and chickens and whatnot spawned a lot more regularly out in the open to the point where when it turned nighttime, if you had torches outside and there weren't mobs near that area, they could actually spawn on top of the light on that torch and you didn't need things like mob farms and actually they wouldn't work at all because these mobs would also despawn when you got too far away from them. So I feel like in current versions of Minecraft, when you get to the point of actually being able to make a mob farm, then you're not going to need leather armor because you're likely going to at least have a fair amount of iron in order to get around. And as well, survival Minecraft is a lot easier than it used to be in the beta days, or at least until they made skeletons super difficult. But as long as you can avoid skeletons, then that's really not too big of an issue 
either. So yeah, I mean, I feel that leather, kind of useless because iron exists and leather is actually decently difficult to get because it's hard to find that many cows to fill the amount of leather that you need in order to make leather armor. So yeah, leather armor, number three. Number four is the Book and Quill. Now, while this item is inherently pretty useful for things like adventure maps, uh, well, at least the written books are, but books and quills, I mean, honestly, do you really use them? I personally don't, except for maybe writing messages like this and signing them and then sending them off to your friend on multiplayer servers. Yeah, hurt people's feelings for fun. Like every other prank channel on YouTube because they don't know how to do pranks. Uh... Alright, and rounding out the five really useless items in my opinion is the cauldron. Now, the reason why I feel like this is useless is not that the item itself is useless, it's that it's really not needed for the use that it has. I mean, yes, it can be used to power a redstone comparator depending on how full or empty the thing is. So if I go ahead and I right click on it here, you can see that the signal just went from a 3 to a 2, and then a 2 to a 1, and then to a 0, and that's cool and all. And sure, you can use them in the nether as well, I guess guess but I mean really if you want to fill up bottles with water then you can just go to an infinite water source it literally never drains them ever like it just doesn't do it so yeah so number six is the cactus I mean really besides the fact that it can damage you and other things and that it can be made into green dye I mean, there's really not a whole lot else going on with it. And I mean, I guess maybe there doesn't need to be, which is why it wasn't in the original five there. But I mean, really. Lapis would have been on the list a long time ago, but I believe it was in Minecraft 1.8. I guess they were found out to have some sort of mystical power, and you can actually use them in the enchanting process now. So Lapis, man, that would have been right at the top of the list until Minecraft 1.8 came out. But I guess, you know, we'll take Cactus for now because it's pretty useless. Alright, so number seven on the list is wheat. Well, more specifically, bread and its original intended use. So, back in the olden days of Minecraft, bread was actually pretty useful as food. I believe it would heal three hearts, and it was pretty simple to make, especially because mobs maybe were a little bit harder to find back then, even though they did respawn regularly, and we didn't have nearly the variety of food that we have in game right now. This item originally was going to be wheat, but wheat by itself is actually very useful, especially in the breeding process and whatnot. But bread, bread is where it's at in terms of uselessness because it is just not an efficient food to eat anymore. I would much rather make golden carrots or baked potatoes and they are actually much easier to get as well. All right, number eight on the list are clocks. And I mean, I get it. They're not really meant to be all that much. They tell the time. But, I mean, when it comes to me and mining through cave systems and whatnot, I know that inventory space is really precious, and I know that usually when I'm checking to see what time of day it is in Minecraft, that I will normally just kind of look outside the cave entrance that I came in from, and if it's dark, I'll find my way back home, sleep in a bed, and it'll be daytime, so I'm not really all that worried. Clocks did come out before beds, so, I mean, you could also check to see what time of day it is by bringing a bed with you, and a bed by itself actually has value because it will then restart the day cycle so that you'll know for a fact when you leave a cave system it's not about to turn nighttime or something and while a clock does do that I would much rather have the inventory space be taken up by a bed instead. And rounding off this list is the wet sponge or dry sponge. It doesn't really matter. Now, I know that when you place a dry sponge in a spot of water or at least with an area of water around it, it will suck up quite a bit of water. And if you are creating a very complex system underwater, then maybe it can be really useful. However, when you have a wet sponge here, let me go ahead and let me grab just a regular sponge and you have water on top of it and it flows down onto it. Sure, it will suck up the water, but but if water flows back onto it, the sponge is going to be wet and it won't actually suck up any water at all. So let's go ahead and let's place down the water. It's going to get sucked up here. Like you're going to see it happen right there. It sucks it up and then you place water on it again. So if you are looking to suck up a large body of water, you need to work from the top down and all that. I mean, it's kind of useful, but I personally never use it. So yeah, but anyways guys, let me know what you guys thought of this list in the comment section down below Are there any items that you guys find are more useless than the ones that I personally listed and which items do you use the most? Just comment away about items in Minecraft or blocks in Minecraft. Let me know But anyways guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this random little video. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell guys 
Thanks so much for watching.